Hi guys, so I'm here. Not really moved in yet fully, but I really wanted to film an intro to this video and update you guys a little bit. I've not been filming my face. You do not want to see what my hair looks like right now. Um, so nothing is here yet. So I can really show you guys an empty apartment tour. So you have to come back and watch the finished one if you're watching this. Okay, I need to do something. Something I should have done the second I walked in this place. I'll tell you one thing we will not be tolerating in this joint, and that is bad vibes. So here we have it. I'm gonna sage this and hope that the fire alarm does not go off. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Worth it though. I'm actually gonna sage the out of this place. First we have Blob. That actually is super janky. Like, I don't know what is going on with this, but Urban Outfitters, I have complaints. And then, I'm getting rid of this, I think. It doesn't work in this space. Does anyone want it that lives in New York? Let me know. Living room. My desk. I am filming a podcast tonight, so subscribe to my Patreon. And then we have her. This coat rack is actually really funny because I feel like it describes my style. Redneck, basic, surfer, skater, weird. Me. Next, we have the kitchen. My last kitchen, I had a stove and a fridge next to my couch. So it's nice that I have a full living room and the bedroom. So, I ordered a rug. I hate it. I hate it. I'm sorry. I hate it. So, I have another rug coming in a few days. Bed's on the floor. None of my bedding is here yet. Jank dog millionaire. Sleeping on the floor. My bed's coming tomorrow. I'm going to fill all these bookshelves up. Chandelier. And my closets. I don't have much clothes here. Um... All of it is coming from LA, so. Oh. And there we have it, kids. Very exciting. Also a washer and dryer, and then here we are. And if you use Barbara Sturm or know who Barbara Sturm is, I hope you appreciate the collection that I have. And it's actually isn't even all my stuff, but I feel like it looks like a Barbara Sturm showroom. And that is a vibe. Sure. Okay, we will when I go on our right. mm -hmm. okay, Thanks. Yeah, of course. There's no driving allowed in the city unless you're an essential worker. But ain't nobody at time. Not gonna cut it today. Holy. So I have this whole outdoor space to myself. I can show you guys that. Yeah. Literally all my packages, um, the landlord let me store them in the store below that's like not open right now. It's eventually gonna be a wine shop, but yeah. So I have to bring all this upstairs. Oh my God, this is mine too. Like a, I think it's a Danish brand. The seashell plates are from there, and then this is from another like Danish design, and then these are from Urban. And this is gonna be installed in the bedroom. And we have so many boxes to unpack, but I wanted to let you guys know. I 
got two jewelry boxes. One of them's like a door thing and from Pottery Barn. I don't know. Oh, no. Simply because you're near me. Honey, but when you're near me. I got these off Amazon for meal prep. They're like these glass things. I got all metal coat hangers. I felt like it was more industrial looking. And then I got two prints. had some work to do um, today so we didn't like fully get moved in or anything um, and like my stuff from LA is not here but we're working on it my bed's coming tomorrow I have a couch coming obviously a new rug um, a dining table set some art I need to get framed but I'm in the mood. this is probably gonna be a three-day vlog right at least. filmed the intro to this video, so if this looks familiar. I didn't do anything today. Um, due to the blizzard, my stuff was delayed, so nothing happened today besides me doing schoolwork and some other things, a lot of computer stuff. Um, nothing that exciting, but tomorrow will be exciting. I'm going to go to CVS now, I think. Target open, I would much rather go to Target. Let's see, Target. No, not the website. Fuck. There's no way Target's open at 8 o'clock. Target. Oh my god. It thinks I'm in Boston. Target. Try again. <gasps> Target closes at 10. My neighbors are gonna hate me. I just screamed. Sorry. I have to get a paper towel holder. Scissors. Literally riveting stuff. I feel like I could bring you guys along with me. Should I Uber there and walk? Well, last time I lived in New York, I stopped using Uber unless I was going uptown or when I was drinking, but I still would walk home drunk, um, like with my friends and stuff. So expensive and it's just silly. I feel like you experience the city so much more when you walk around, you get to know the city more. It's really healthy, get your steps in. Sorry, this book is in the way. I'm reading a new book, Pornland. How porn has hijacked our sexuality. I'll let you know. Yeah, I don't even know what I was saying, but I stopped Ubering. Oh, this is what I was saying. I got so many more steps in. Six miles a day, it's insane. Living in New York is special that way. Target near me. The reason I wanna to go to Target over CVS is because I also would love to get a mop. I feel like that's not realistic right now. Okay, I'm going to CVS. My favorite shoes ever. I'm pretty sure I've had these for two years. And they've walked miles. Like I call myself a content creator and I just go to CVS. I just moved that rolling rack and it made this space so much bigger, so. 
Sorry, sweetie, you're not gonna make the cut. Also, before I go, I'm gonna sage this place because honestly, I'm not taking any fucking chances. So, I'm gonna stink bomb this place and hope for the best. Okay, take two. I mean, legit, this does not smell good. Also, there's rope on this. <sighs> ah! Oh, oh no, oh no, 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 nope, nope. That's gonna set off the fire alarm. Nope. Okay, we got, okay. <laughs> How much sage needs to be smoking in order for the bad vibes to be abolished? Okay. Okay, this might be some of the worst smelling stuff that I've ever smelled, but, but probably the best year of my life. Jokes on you. I mean, not like anyone cares, but I use this for fruit and stuff when I go to the farmer's markets. And then I use this for groceries and things. So I'm gonna take this and my keys and a mask. Who remembers a few videos ago when I said that I was gonna be the vlogger that walked around and didn't give a fuck? Yep, lies. See, I say these things and then I show up here and I'm just like, Walking. Like, see, there's a guy up here who's kind of hot with two dogs, and like, I don't want to be vlogging, you know? Okay, okay. I said that, and then like, I got here, and now I'm just like, mm, if I saw someone doing this, I would probably make fun of them. Not in a mean way, just being like, ha. Ah. So, yeah. The neighborhood. Pretty cute. Okay, I've passed Dog Man, but. Yeah, like I'm not embarrassed to be a YouTuber at all. I'm proud and I think that's part of being decent at this is being like, and just not giving a fuck when anyone says and just being confident about it and be like, this is my gig, uh, but it's tough a little bit in public. It's a little tough. It's just like funny, you know, it's just the kind of jokes. Uh, but I'm on my way to see me, And this is the only vlog really I've done in this video. The title of this video is going to be a whole paragraph. Empty apartments who are moving in, unboxing, vlog, shit didn't show up because of snowstorm, vlog, thing, saging apartment, smells like shit. Yeah, just, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot of things. And I don't even know where I'm going, and yeah. Okay, I'm walking home now. I posted on my Instagram today a list of places, small businesses in New York that I love and that I've been going to for, for like the five years that I've lived here. I mean, obviously it's so important now more than ever to support small businesses, but I think that moving to New York, living in New York, there are so many good spots. I wish I had someone when I first lived here telling me where to get my hair done, where to get a facial, like where to get a coffee, so. Sorry, I just passed someone. Why I'm saying this, is because I inspired myself today. And one of the places that I added on my list was um, Juice Press, because they have really, really good to-go soup in these containers, and it's vegan, but I'm not vegan, and I'm very particular, and I don't necessarily always like vegan food at all. I am a self-proclaimed soup connoisseur. I take my soup very seriously, and I highly, highly recommend Juice Press' soup, and I think that's what I'm gonna have for dinner, so. Yeah, not that exciting, but it's really good if you live in New York. Ew, it smells like nasty ass sage. But, what soup should I have? Okay, I got Egyptian red lentil, a low sodium veggie chili, and split pea. I had Flip today, so I'm gonna have a veggie chili. Ooh, that looks so good. That looks kind of gross. Should I have all of it? That's kind of crazy. I have no cooking utensils. My mom got me some for my birthday. She's so cute. All of my kitchen stuff is coming from LA. I um, got copper pots and pans in LA. And I didn't realize that you had to um, polish them. So, spent a lot of money on those and they're going to be really janky soon because that's a lot of work. You know, it's tough. Unless I can make a friend who's really passionate about shining copper pots, 
You guys probably don't believe me because I feel like that kind of looks disgusting when I um when I poured it in, but dinner. I mean, how can you not love soup? I'm very excited for this. My neighbors are fighting upstairs. Can you hear that? In another language. Let me try to see what they're speaking. I think they're speaking Dutch. Okay, I think I'm gonna eat my food. And then I'm gonna film a podcast tonight and do some schoolwork and, and then go to bed early because I'm really tired. I have to be up bright and early to meet the movers. Oh.